the two most powerful words in the English language are often considered to be thank you and I'm sorry. These words hold significant emotional and relational power because they directly impact interpersonal communication and relationships. Why thank you is so powerful. First, it creates connection. When you say thank you, you create an instant connection with the person you're speaking to. It's a moment of shared recognition, acknowledging that someone has done something meaningful for you. This simple phrase can make someone feel seen, appreciated, and valued. Builds goodwill and trust. Gratitude can be incredibly disarming. When you genuinely thank someone, it can build a bridge of goodwill and trust. It opens the door for deeper, more meaningful interactions and fosters a sense of mutual respect. Positive impact on mental health. Expressing gratitude can boost your own mood and mental health. Research shows that regularly practicing gratitude can lead to increased happiness, reduced anxiety, and improved relationships. It can also help shift your mindset to focus on the positive aspects of life. How to use thank you effectively. Make it personal. Instead of a generic thank you, personalize your gratitude. For example, say, thank you for your insight during the meeting today. Your perspective really opened my eyes. This not only shows appreciation, but also makes the other person feel special and recognized. Be timely. Don't wait too long to express gratitude. Saying thank you in the moment has a much stronger impact than days or weeks later. Immediate recognition reinforces the positive behavior or action you're thanking them for. Express gratitude, even for small things. Don't save thank you for big favors or gifts. Use it daily, even for small gestures like someone holding the door open or a colleague sharing a helpful tip. This shows that you are attentive and appreciative of all efforts, big or small. And now why I'm sorry is so powerful. Apologizing requires you to be vulnerable which can actually be a sign of great strength. It shows that you are willing to admit your mistakes and take responsibility for your actions. This kind of humility can be very powerful in building stronger, more authentic relationships. An honest apology can be the first step toward healing. It shows the other person that you care about their feelings and that you're committed to making things right. This can mend relationships and open the door for forgiveness and understanding. Saying I'm sorry shows that you are aware of the impact your actions have on others and that you are considerate of their feelings. This self-awareness and empathy are key components of emotional intelligence, which is crucial for healthy communication and relationships. How to use I'm sorry effectively. Own your mistake. Be clear about what you are apologizing for. Instead of a vague, I'm sorry if you were hurt, say, I'm sorry I interrupted you earlier. I realize I should have waited for you to finish. This shows you understand exactly what went wrong and that you're taking responsibility. Combine apology with action. Words are powerful, but actions reinforce them. When apologizing, express how you plan to make things right or how you will avoid repeating the mistake in the future. For example, I'm sorry for missing our meeting. I've set reminders so it won't happen again. Avoid over-apologizing. While it's important to apologize when necessary, over-apologizing can diminish the impact of your words. Make sure your apologies are meaningful and necessary, rather than apologizing for every small thing. The power of thank you and I'm sorry in everyday life. When used thoughtfully, thank you and I'm sorry can transform your daily interactions and relationships. In personal relationships, expressing gratitude and apologizing when needed can strengthen your bonds with family and friends, showing them that you care and respect them. It can diffuse conflicts and create a more loving, supportive environment. In professional settings, a culture of gratitude and accountability can lead to a more positive and productive workplace. Thanking colleagues for their contributions fosters collaboration and teamwork, while apologizing for mistakes shows professionalism and maturity. For personal growth, regularly using thank you and I'm sorry can help you become more self-aware and empathetic. These words encourage reflection on your actions and their impact on others, fostering personal and emotional growth. Thank you and I'm sorry are much more than just polite phrases. They are powerful tools for building stronger, more meaningful connections with those around you. By using them sincerely and effectively, you can create a positive impact in every area of your life, from personal relationships to professional endeavors. Remember, the most meaningful interactions are often built on these two simple, yet profound words.